Five Unusual People in the World, Part 140. Hello, you guys. I'm Keisha, and have a great day. We always think that we are suffering and not having any luck, but these things are nothing to these people. They even suffer from birth, and if God hadn't been with them, they would have died at an early age. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number 5. Raham Panyin Raham Panyin was born in 1983. In 1989, Panyin was lost in the forest while herding cattle. 18 years later, the villagers accidentally discovered the long-lost girl living in the jungle and took her home. For the first time returning to human life, Panyin lost the ability to speak. Since returning to her family in January 2007, Panyin learned to speak a few sentences, beginning to wear casual clothes on her own. Mr. Shaolu, Raham's father said that his daughter also helps her parents with housework. She also participates in cooking with her mother. However, the sad thing is that she continued to run away from home on May 25, 2010. Neighbors and local authorities have also helped the Shaolu family find their daughter, but efforts turned out to be no avail. According to Mr. Lu, a fortune teller told the family that the god of the mountain has stolen his daughter. If you want to call Panying home, you need to have an offering of a bison, a pig, a chicken, and four wine urns in order to ask the god to release the forest girl. Although he wanted to find his trial again, Mr. Lu proved powerless as his poor family didn't have enough money. The man hoped the NGOs would come to support his family looking for Panying. The police have sent someone to find a girl but there is currently no trace. In the world, conjoined twins face many dangers to their lives right from birth. Only a few were able to survive. And right now, we will meet such twins. Number 4. Mary Amy and Anda Ye Mary Amy and Anda Ye were born on May 18, 2016, in Dakar, Senegal. The two sisters were born with conjoined bodies. CT scan results show that they would both depend on each other for life, so separation is no longer an option, allowing girls to grow and develop naturally. Doctors say that Mary Emma's heart depends a lot on Andy Ye's heart. As Mary's heart is the weaker, making Andy Ye's heart more tense, this leads to a situation where the girls may not be able to have separate surgery for health reasons. Each person has their own heart and lungs and shares the same liver, bladder, and digestive system. But for all the girls share, they have completely opposite personalities. While Mary Amy is a quiet, strong, and daring person, and Deyi is playful and mischievous. Even though when they were born, doctors said that if not separated, the two would die, and if did, one and two would die. But Mary Amy and Andeye are still doing well, are currently in school and their mobility is improving. Although the moving is still difficult, it will soon be ended with their determination. Most children with aging disorder disease would die before their 13th birthday. But this girl overcame the doctor's prognosis. She is always happy and brings joy to her loved ones. Number 3. Magali Gonzalez Sierra Magali Gonzalez Sierra was born in 2001 in Colombia. You don't get it wrong, she was actually born in 2001. Like other teenagers, Magali loves to dance, music, and makeup. However, unlike her friends, the girl was trapped in the body of an old lady. Magali suffers from a very rare disease called Hutchinson Guilford Syndrome, or Procheria, Greek for old age. This inherited disease causes people to age 7 times faster than normal. This is an extremely rare disease with a rate of 1 in 8 million. Although there is a body modification, the disease doesn't impair their intelligence. In fact, when they are born, they still look normal, and only later will the parents notice something different. At around 18 to 24 months of age, Magali began the rapid aging process. She didn't grow much was constantly losing body fat, and her joints stiffened, and she got atherosclerosis. Even Magali's hair fell out, and that's why Magali has to wear a wig. 
She is already 15 years old, and everyone is extremely proud of the way the girl deals with her serious health problems. Living to 15 years old is very rare among people with this disease. On her 15th birthday, she got dressed and put on makeup, and all her friends came and celebrated together. In the end, her father embraced her and danced with her. Many charities are helping a family of people with extremely strange looks. They have thousands of water bubbles surrounding their body and that keeps them shunned by the villagers. Number 2. Louvante Louvante, born in 1963, lives in Dak Lak province, Vietnam. His body frightened everyone by thousands of tumors growing from the feet to the top of the head. Among those, there is a huge tumor growing on the right buttocks, weighing nearly 10 kilograms. On top of the head, there is another tumor, as if it was trying to burst. De is the third child in a family of seven siblings, but everyone does not have the same strange disease as him. At 13 to 14 years old, on the right cheek appeared a cyst of a grape size, and it grew gradually over the years. In 1984, at that time, De was 21 years old, and the tumor was removed. After getting married, the tumor on his right cheek rose again, and then it swelled up on his face. Since the recurrence of the disease, many other tumors also sprung up from the foot to the top of the head, making De alienated and discriminated against, especially those who met him for the first time. Every time he left the house, new contacts always tried to stand away from him. Remarkably, De's children also have tumors like him, and sure enough, they are also very difficult to marry for themselves. Because of their unique appearance and somewhat scary, it is difficult for them to find a job they like, so the family's economy is so difficult that they cannot go to the doctor. Number 1. Dinh Hu Tai Dinh Hu Tai, born in 2000 in Ninh Binh, Vietnam, is a very beautiful guy. On the body, there is a very special skin layer, which looks like the dry bark, wrinkled, rough, often bleeding and peeling. His limbs are shriveled, with only skin and bones. Fingertips and toes are contracted and covered with a plastic bag-like film. His face is haggard, and his eyes are abnormally large. According to Tai's family, he was affected by toxic chemicals caused by his grandfather and father participating in the war. Tai has a brother who was born with this evil disease. His family couldn't find a cure anywhere, and he lived for a while and passed away. Since his birth, Tai was also affected by that chemical. His body was weaker than all the children and often sick. Although he was also taken to major hospitals, but like his brother, doctors still could not find a way to cure it completely. Still, Tai is luckier than his brother and he still survives to this day. Because of this terrible disease, Tai's body is like a 3-year-old child, less than 3 feet tall and weighs only 20 pounds. He faces excruciating physical pain dry and flaky skin all year round, bleeding all the time, causing pain, keeping him in a state of insomnia. The people above are pitiful, aren't they? It is well known that medicine is well developed today, but there are still poor people suffering from rare diseases that can't be medically interfered with. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.